Hi, kids. Today we will be learning probability. So let's get started. Probability is the chance that something will happen or not, or how likely it is that some event will happen. Sometimes you can measure a probability with a number like 10% chance of rain, or you can use words such as impossible, unlikely, or possible. Example, it is unlikely to rain tomorrow, or it is not likely to snow today. So, various words we use to measure probability gives us an idea about the chance of something happening or not happening. Now, let's answer a few questions based on what we learned on probability. Sam has a big box which is filled with balls of various colors. And the table here shows the number of different colors of balls in the box. Now, John picks a ball randomly without looking at the balls. We have to explore various possibilities about the color of ball that can be picked by answering a few questions. So let's start. Which ball is most likely to be picked? Yellow ball, as they are the most in number. Which ball is least likely to be picked? Blue ball, as they are least in number. Is there a greater chance to pick a red ball or a green ball? There is a greater chance to pick a red ball, as red balls are more in number than green balls. Is there a smaller chance to pick a blue ball or a green ball? There is a smaller chance to pick a blue ball, as blue balls are less than green balls. Is there any chance to pick a pink ball? No, there is no chance, as there is no pink ball. Were to describe the probability of picking a pink ball will be never. If John has to bet that he will pick the ball, he will guess which ball should John guess to win the bet. John should guess yellow ball. As yellow ball is most probable or likely to be picked, and if he bets to pick yellow ball, most chances are there that John will pick yellow ball and can win over the bet. If all the blue balls are removed from the box, which balls are least likely to be picked? If blue balls are removed, green balls and orange balls will be the least in number, so they are least likely to be picked. Now, Let's answer one more question. If all the yellow balls are removed from the box, which ball does Sam should guess to win in the game of picking the same ball without looking? Red ball. As red balls are most in number, so they are most probable or likely to be picked. So Sam should guess the red ball to win if all yellow balls are removed from the box.
Good. Now, which balls are equally likely to be picked? Green and orange balls are equally likely or evenly likely to be picked as they are same in number. So kids, probability is the likelihood of something happening or not happening. Now, let's take another example where we can study probability. Kids, here we have a spinner with some numbers on it. Now, let's answer a few questions based on the spinner. Which of the following words describes the chances of spinner A stopping at 5? Likely, unlikely, never, evenly likely. It's unlikely, as 5 is there only once on the spinner. Now, let's move to the next question. Which of the following word describes the chances of spinner A stopping at 2 or 3? It's evenly likely, as 2 and 3 occurs same number of times on the spinner. Which of the following word describes the chances of spinner A stopping at 1? Likely, as 1 is there most number of times on the spinner. Now, which of the following word describes the chances of spinner A stopping at 7? It's never, as 7 is not there on the spinner. So, there is no chance that spinner will stop at 7. Okay, kids. So, today we learn about probability and various words we can use to describe the probability. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.